the Oscars, of course. Um, last night, Hollywood's rich and famous came together for one of the most anticipated nights of the year. And a few of the celebrities used it as an opportunity to make a political statement. Incredibly powerful speech. Best Supporting Actor winner Brad Pitt used his speech to attack the handling of Trump's impeachment trial. Mm. And Natalie Portman wore a cape embroidered with the names of every female director who hadn't been nominated. So do we want our celebrities to be using award ceremonies to make political statements? Or, or kind of do we want to see a bit more of a celebration of what they do? Or is it to be fair to them, they know it's the biggest platform in their career, potentially. The entire world is watching. I think that they're in the position where they can make a difference to people um, by talking about all of that. And I know look, we're not A-list celebrities, but sometimes, like, for charities and things, when people ask us to do something, they need, a, like, a celebrity or someone to front their campaigns mm -hmm. or whatever. And that does help the charity and does help raise more money and that. So I think... Really, what they're doing is they feel so strongly about something that that is the p perfect place for them to speak about what they're, you know, what they're talking mm -hmm. about and everything. I thought it was right what he said. Yeah. I'm just, yeah. <laughs> I'm just a bit confused that you said that we weren't A-list celebrities. <laughs> <laughs> I thought we were. Maybe B. Maybe B. Yeah, I mean, yes, I, I can't... You know, it's funny, you know, because a few years ago, I would have sat... I've just... You know, my views have changed so much over, over the years. I would have sat on this panel and I would have said, oh, I'm sick of people wanging on about politics and let's just keep it to what they're good at, the acting and everything. But actually, I've really... Um, I guess I've grown up a little bit over the years and I do realise that we can't trust the politicians to do everything about everything. We can't trust what they say. So if people do have a voice, like you've said, in my own little way, I try to be a voice for those with mental illness who don't have one. My son, who is the lead singer of a, of a big band, the 1975, uses his voice globally um, to do what he can. And um, although things like climate change, you know, you can't put the genie back in the bottle and never fly, but you can do many other things as yeah. well to try yeah. and, you know, cut down the carbon footprint. I mean, there, there, is another, there is another thing that if we're, say, having a very famous actor talking globally about, about diversity and about, and about inequality, some people, and some people have been quite vocal about it, say, well, don't go and accept your award then. Mm -hmm. I mean, that, you know, there also is that. But at the same time, if they're trying to bring an audience to what they're saying... So some people would see it as a hypocrisy yeah. and some people would see it as using their, their, their voice. Mm -hmm. But these things, you know, these things make a difference. Yeah. Yeah. I think... I think you're right with regards to, you know, how far you want to take it. There's other ways that you can be quite political, like not taking your award. I think Will Smith and, and, and Jada Pinkett Smith did the same thing. I, for me, it's about if you're using your platform to talk about something, it's got to be something that you're genuinely passionate about and that has happened in your life because I think your experience will translate when you're talking about it. It's just that sometimes it feels like, especially on social media, people will jump on the bandwagon oh, yeah. to talk about certain things because they know, all oh, that video is going to go viral and so on. You know, I talk about political things or things that matter to me that I've actually experienced so that others can hear from it. But I think that we are in a time where anybody and everybody want to speak on a subject just because they can get a video out there mm -hmm. or they can voice their opinion mm -hmm. and it has nothing to do with anything that they've lived. I'm not saying that if you haven't lived it, you cannot sympathise with it, but we have to They really, make it their own course sometimes. They make sometimes. their own course, which is like, oh, yeah, you know, I want to be a happy medium um, around it, but they have no form of it in their life or know anybody about it and it's mm -hmm. just for that publicity. Yeah. I think if it was... The... <laughs> If it was members of the public that do the voting, it would be different. But it, because it seems to be like the same, I don't know, the committee or whoever it is that yeah. are, mm. are voting, they don't really show the wide, you know, aspect of everybody that, that has been nominated or whatever. I mean, they, they need to put more more people, like ordinary people, in there as well, like mm. or members of the public. Yeah, yeah, yeah. To vote, yeah. yeah. I think it's... I, I'm not... I'm not very good at sort of being told what to do by someone that kind of no. preaches to you. I'm not, I, I never really resonates with me particularly well. And particularly if I don't think they are completely mm. living yes. by what they're saying. I have an issue with mm. that, definitely. But I got to say, listening to his speech, back in Phoenix speech, it really did resonate with me. Mm. And I got to say this morning, I thought, when he, he, he delivered it so well. And yeah. it's a very visual picture of what happens. And if you do feel in any way about animal rights, and that, I mean, it's, it would hit home. And, and like I say, he's on a stage with millions.